It's a brand new season starting on Friday night. Let's go talk Warriors lineup with Monty Beatham. Hey, Mons, you're at training at the moment, mate. What are you, what are you seeing? Uh, look, I'm seeing a lot of excited people, hearing a lot of talk, which you'll hear as well. In the background, we've got two teams currently going through some of their drills for the weekend as we think about the first 13 that are going out, or 17, that are get round one start against the Sharks. You can't forget that there's a whole host of stars that are playing in the Cup game before that. A lot of uh, big names, Mori Martin, you've got Shannon Harris, Tavita, Ed Corsi, Jazz Tavanga, um, Ali Laotau, and the list goes on, man. Well, that just says to me that there's strength and depth. Absolutely. I think last year I was surprised on how much depth I saw. I think there was one place going, coming into the squad and being close to the action, thinking we probably wouldn't have the depth. But the, the next man up mentality that they had at the club, which uh, Andrew Webster brought to the, the team and squad, which is was the necessity, um, proved to be well last year. So a lot more squad uh, in terms of depth this year. And there's still a few injuries out there, but... Um, Regardless, you know, there's a whole host of uh, good players that can get their chance this week to uh, put up their hands for the first first time in round one. Yeah, Mons, I mean, the amount of time that you spend at the club as well, I'm sure there were occasions where players sulked and they didn't want to play the reserve grade or the NS Dub Cup or whatever it was. What is the feeling within this team now? Is it is it a hell of a lot more unified? Are you kind of detecting that? I was there training yesterday and, um, you know, when they named the team and we knew who was going to be and who was going to be out, we all... all Already had some Monty Martin and Chanel Harris Tavita staying in behind late after the first grade training to see what their combos were going to be like for the weekend. And his words himself to Monty Martin was, I'm on to, we're, we're trying to get our combos right so we can get back into the team. So right. that's the sort of uh, mentality you want and that's that's what you want to get. And that's the way it's been. Everyone's really upbeat still. I know it's only around one, but everyone just doesn't want to miss out. They've all got FOMO here and they realise that there is depth, uh, and, uh, but they also feel like They've got enough um, chances that can get presented in front of them. They know that Webby's fair and that Webby uh, gave the first shot to the first group this Friday. A couple of uh, accommodations that have been selected. Luke Metcalf at six. Did that surprise you? And, and, and what have you seen so far from just him training and, and, and observed as to why Webby might have made that call? Well, I think Luke's got the most time out of everyone in the trials. Um, you know, it didn't help with Tomato had to go play Mouldy. And you now Harris Tavita's body's been finding a little bit more difficult coming back. And, you know, I think he's only going to have uh, limited game time this weekend in Cup. Um, he was a little bit tight in the weekend, so he didn't play against the Dolphins. Uh, but two big parts of Luke's game where he struggled last year was uh, we know he's got God-given speed and he probably tried too much to use it and run with the detriment to some of his outside backs. But this year we've seen that he was really being good in terms of uh, getting those people outside him in better positions, trying to use the ball a little bit more, not force his hand when to run, but also defensively. Defensively, he's been sound. Uh, they've been trying to target him in the Dolphins game. and come up with some big one-on-one tackles. Uh, he's been hunting from the inside. So, uh, you know, he gets the first um, opportunity, first cab off the rank, so to speak, and he, he probably deserves it, I, I must say. Can he provide an added dimension to the kicking game as well, take some of the pressure off Sean in that department? Yeah, I think he can. Uh, but we know that Sean is that guy that is going to be the alpha and he wants to step up and he has got a great kicking game. And at times through last year, his kicking game got us out of a lot of trouble, got the Warriors out of a lot of trouble. So um, he, he'll probably be doing less of the two in terms of kicking, but also, you know, Wade Egan, I've been seeing him uh, having boot to ball a, a little bit through uh, the off-season or pre-season, so... That's another uh, little added dimension to a kicking game. Uh, whether he shows that early or, or not at all, who, who knows? Because, you know, one thing as a hooker, you don't want to have a play your hand, especially when you've got a, a great kicker in um, the next show, Sean Johnson. We're talking about the Warriors lineup announced yesterday. Home match, click the season off against the Sharks Friday night. And the Centurion, the former club captain, uh, Monty Beatham, is with us. I'm just going to go through a couple of positions. Uh, Tainé uh, to a picky at fullback. What's he going to bring? I oh, look, uh, speed. Last year he was in a training trial contract. He signed after getting his uh, boarding pass to play in Townsville playing 80 minutes. Uh, Webby absolutely loves him. We know that Roger can play a fullback, but Webby's putting all his trust in him. And I tell you what, he, he's lightning. He was the uh, Queensland Cup player of the year last uh, uh, two years ago, which was 2022 before he came to the club. Uh, he's got plenty of speed. He's a great talker at the back. And uh, we saw a couple of uh, little... Little moves in and around the ruck, uh, similar to the old Melbourne Storm of, of late with uh, myself and Egan and, and Walker. So, um, you know, that's been cool, and he's so excited for the opportunity. So, 
Um, I'm looking for, for a lot of enthusiasm from him on Friday. RTS, is this going to be his permanent position? We're not going to see him flirt with fullback. We're not going to see him moving around. You actually see him in the centres for the season? Well, look, it's just my point of view, not Webby's point of view, but I, I could see him even playing on the wing. I could see someone like Ali Leotawa coming into the centres and Roger playing there. We know he can play a fullback, but when you've got Chance and you've got Tane there, uh, he's probably third, third choice. Uh, but the fact that he can play and play majority minutes uh, and, and just roam, because he's smart enough uh, to know where to be at the right times if he's got to hold a shape and position on the wing or in the centre, but he also knows where to move or like a lot of other big names in the team, how to how to contribute to know uh, there's moments in a game when you can change the, the tempo, we can change the momentum, and um, he's a very smart player, and um, I've been loving what I've seen from him in the two pre-season trials.